Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Pro National Race Vlog. We're out here at Southwick this weekend. One of the coolest ones on the circuit. Definitely a nice sandy one, which I appreciate because being from Florida and Michigan, I like the sand, but um, sadly, Hurricane, what's it called, Nikki? Elsa, I think it's Hurricane Elsa or Elise. Elsa, I think Elsa. it is. Mm -hmm. Hurricane Elsa came through yesterday and absolutely obliterated the track. So there's some gnarly knee deep rain ruts out there. Um, the track work has, or track workers have been hard at work out there fixing it all up just in time for it to start downpouring again last night. So we just woke up. We haven't seen the track yet. And honestly, I don't really feel like going and looking at it before practice. <laughs> no. So yeah, we're just going to get ready and head up there, but should be a good day. Typically I'm pretty good in the sand and pretty good in the mud. So yeah, that's all we can really do. Um, instead of sitting here and worrying about it and making ourselves sick over this rain, we're just going to go out there and go absolutely as fast as we can. And as long as we do that, nothing to be sorry about later so that's exactly what we're gonna do um and yeah let's head out there and see how the bike is doing we got a sweet kit this weekend new title sponsor um so what do you say we get out there show you guys i'm ready for it let's go baby let's go <laughs> what do we got here baby oh you know we got the the walmart special boots called the interceptors new boot goofing what? baby oh, just three payments genuine ostrich genuine ostrich oh so what are we doing here Getting Jeff all loosened up for the day, kind of work out some of the problem areas that he has that are tight. Mm -hmm. Really work on getting them warmed up so that uh, all day squeezing the bike, feet on and off the pegs, these muscles are ready to roll. Cool. So that they're performing top notch. This is Drew, by the way. Yeah, EW Drew. Performance. Drew's never been on the vlog, but I've been working with him since like 2014. All right, so you're gonna push into my hand lightly and relax. Whew. Okay, you're a little tight in your hip flexors and quads, which is gonna give you that tightness feeling in the front of your hip. All right, so now we're going through some shoulder activation. So you're gonna be here, elbows tight to your side, squeeze out, and then back in. A double, one, two. Stay tight through here. It's warming up the chest, shoulders. You have what's called fascia, so you have stretching which makes your muscle longer, mm -hmm. but you also wanna break up the fascia. So some people use foam roller, lacrosse ball, this is called SMR, so we're just using our hand and breaking up this tissue. Get ASMR. the blood flowing. We're gonna be whispering. <laughs> we're getting the blood flowing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, SMR, sorry. I just... Take it easy, bud. Take it easy. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Morning, Good morning, Paul. Morning. How are you guys doing today? I'm fantastic. How are you, Nick? I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Paul, how are you doing? Yep, we're doing are... good. Ready for a wet one. Shoo! Southwick kit is looking insane. Huge thank you to Adept Creative Co. and Eric Grondel for making the Steve McQueen throwback blue and orange kit. And it is looking great with another title sponsor, Cadenese Excavating. You guys can see it on the shroud here. Huge thank you to them. Their Instagram will be up on the screen right now. Please go show them some love along with the Veteran MX Foundation, which you guys can see on the top of my shroud. Awesome companies, and they are helping out the racing program huge. So definitely show them some love, guys. Bike looks sick this weekend. Good morning. Hey, I'll take the green one. Hey, you're trying to get lemon lay, girl? Yeah. <laughs> you have beautiful blue blue eyes. Alright, I'm going to back up and I'm going to take my 20 minute walk to the track. I'll see you later. Good luck and I'll see you on the track.
Thank you, Drew. DW Thank you, Drew. Performance. <laughs> he does a bunch of online stuff, so if you guys are interested, I'll put his link up and you guys can hit him up because he does a bunch of online. Like, he lives in Florida, so all the stuff he does with me is online. Yep. I'd say it's working out pretty well this year. I don't but... know, man. You look loose, limber, Dude, and I felt fat. nice and loose. Yeah. Nice, Getting dude. whiskey. I'm super excited for you. 26. I had a Kessler. Yeah. Wow, man. Look at you, it. sand yeah. guy. So 26th in the A. The track was perfect for the B group, which went first, but there were only four guys who went faster. So we're sitting 30th right now. Awesome. I don't see the track getting faster for the mm -hmm. second ones. It's gonna be pretty nasty. So yeah. I think that means we're pretty good. You obviously always go out there just in case by some miracle the track is faster, but I think that was definitely gonna get us in, so. Yeah. Cool, man. Heck yeah, man. Oh, I'm bummed that, potentially. I don't have to go running around on the LCQ. Oh, sorry, in dude. The interceptors. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, the vlog's gonna be a little bit shorter because we don't have to do an LCQ. Super bummer. I know you guys always love that. I think we're in a solid 30th. I think we're gonna be okay. We'll see. I don't see the track getting any faster for the either. next section. Yep. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty chewed already. So, mm -hmm. I think we're gonna be okay. So that way I can relax today. I don't we know. Can all relax. Yeah. Look, if Paul is stoked, you know things are going yeah. really well. Look at look at Paul. <laughs> I think look at him. Gonna get so beat up once this yeah. yeah. I've never here. seen someone so happy to change the trash. So you know Paul's gonna get there. Drivers and drivers and an visionary. And over the last 20 years, a year from the rental and the kids that make the move up to the So here's the best lap times from that second 250A session. And I just gotta take a minute to be proud of myself here. As you can see, we're down in 21st. And uh, maybe to some of you that doesn't seem amazing, but when you take a look at all the names that are in front of us, I mean, Hampshire, Roberts, Lawrence, Swole, all, I mean, those names go all the way back to, you know, 20th with Caleb Russell on a factory KTM. So, I mean, compared to any years past, this is just, so so huge for me this is by far my best qualifying effort um this was just in the a group and that first b group there was a couple dudes who went faster so i think i ended up qualifying around 26th overall but um 21st in the a group is just insane i mean look at the names that are ahead of me so yeah i definitely wanted to take a minute to gas myself up here because i was super super proud of this but dude it's crazy like getting done with practice and i'm like chill right now yeah. like i feel fine last year or two years ago or any other year i would be dead right now yeah. like literally dying thanks Holy thanks drew yeah, thanks drew <laughs> it's all in the warm-up <laughs> i mean you can you've been grinding since before supercross yeah so you've got a good base on you. the wrist thing definitely didn't help yeah. like i feel like i would be even a little further ahead if i was riding yeah. like, all winter but i'm happy with it no lcq no lcq nice cool weather we got drew locking down the nutrition it's a good weekend. Dude, it's a good weekend, man. How are we feeling? How are the interceptors? 
<laughs> Dude, there's just a bunch of, like, they're, like, too wide for my foot. I don't know. I might go back to Vans. Wow. Disrespecting the interceptors. I don't know. I can't believe that, <laughs> dude. Hey, guys. Do you find gas? Yeah, you looked like you started trying to fight fight back. And you were starting to get up in the mix, like yeah. get back up to the race and then Jerry, what happened to you? I caught you looking at your bike on the ground. I gotta take it out. Yeah, I missed that part. Yeah, dude, like I've been taking out like that a lot. Yeah. yeah. 
You like what you see? Dude, I'm gonna spot you so well, this moto. Is that for the, uh, the female demographic? There's a couple out there. It's probably 12 year olds on their mom's account though. Ugh. What's the mom's deal? <laughs> well, Jeff, how are you feeling? The knee is rough. Yep. It's definitely a little sloshy, mm -hmm. but we're here. We're here, we're gonna run that for. This is the best training you can get, so we're not gonna waste it. Yep. We're still gonna head out there, soldier through it. Yep. And then we have a whole week to recover, so wow. that's all there is to it at the end of the day. Yeah. Bye right, guys, have fun. See you about 45. How shot do I look right now? Dude, you look you look rougher than you do it than you did at Redbud. There's sand in every hole. Every dude. crevice. <laughs> every hole. Oh man. Every crevice. Who's washing your behind tonight? Possibly you. Uh, could be investors. investors. Possibly you. No, that was a good one. I yeah. mean, off of both starts, <coughs> we tried to like fill the gate in, and I think that was a mistake. Yeah. Because as soon as I let the clutch out, I just dug straight down yep. and everyone jumped down in front of me and I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, it's going to be a great. long moto. Yep. But the first half, I don't know if my knee was just still loosening up or whatever, but my, the first half of my moto wasn't great. There were like people going by me that I knew I could beat. And then the second half of the moto, I caught and passed them all back. Right. And uh, started picking people off a little bit, but I think we ended 28. Yeah. I think so. that's... That's a good salvage. I mean, <laughs> let's say last week and you got 26, 26. I mean, you're two spots off that. You just 
you're disappointed, but I think that it's a step in the right direction compared to Colorado. Yeah, I mean, dude, the biggest thing is if I start 20th and just get sucked along with those guys yeah. for two laps, I mean... Then you're in 10 times better. That's why you got 26 black again. Yeah. yeah. 15th place is a half a lap ahead of me by the second or third lap. Yep. You know, there's no way you can fight back from that. Yeah. But for the knee, the starts, how gnarly the track is, Like I mean, yeah, I'm pretty I can, happy with 28. Yeah, I wouldn't be upset with yourself or disappointed like it's Southwick just, looks so hard you you were like coming into this you're like I want to get near 20th yeah it's, it's funny how you have like one or two good races <coughs> and then you get greedy yeah I mean we started the season getting like literally 37 36 at Colorado yeah and then finally I find my flow and have like a 26 26 weekend yeah. <coughs> and then I get greedy um, and I just feel like I should be there every every time so yep a month ago, I would have been stoked with 28th, right. but yeah, I'm a little disappointed. Yeah, we, we've set our expectations a little higher, yeah. um, but we know that said, we can get there yeah. for sure. It's just like Southwick looks so much harder than Redbud did. Oh yeah, absolutely. But yeah. Millville's next. <laughs> That's honestly my favorite track on the circuit. Yeah, I'm excited to go. Always do pretty well there. Um, so yeah, we'll, I think we'll, we'll be have okay. some fun next weekend. Yeah. Heck yeah. I need to get undressed and get some food in me. For sure. <laughs> Drew, what do you think? I was impressed with his halfway point through the end of the moto. Yeah. Uh, he started reeling guys back in that had pulled out at the beginning. So yeah. pumped on that side. But that, that start, man, we got to get those starts figured out because it's going to make his races a lot easier if uh, yeah. he's starting in 15th instead of 35th. Yeah. So yeah. overall, good Southwick. Yeah.